Hey guys, I am back really quickly. I just wanted to show you what I have been surviving off of during my clear liquid diet. Um, I have been on it for nine days now and it is a two week clear liquid diet. So this is what my surgeon has approved for me. Your surgeon might approve you differently. So just make sure you're following your surgeon's instructions. And if you can have these things and you can take these tips if you like. So I have been surviving off of a savory liquid, you could say, of broth. So my broth of choice has been the Noor brand. Um, this is a beef broth. You could find this. I found this at Walmart. Um, you might find it in the like Hispanic type of aisle because it is kind of like a Hispanic flavoring. Um, so that one was beef. I also have a chicken and I also have tomato. So with the tomato, I like to go ahead and um, do it, you know, put the powder inside water, hot water. And then I add Italian seasoning and it almost kind of tastes like a little pizza, spaghetti type of thing. So that kind of helps me, you know, get through that. Um, if I am on the go, which I was on the go during my aunt's wedding, I did take these with me. These are like little um, bouillon cubes. They come in a little glass so they don't, you know, get powder everywhere. And yeah, this is chicken flavor. The brand is called Weiler's. And I found this at Walmart and I just pop them in my bag and then I could just go ahead and add hot water to a thermos and drink that when I want it. Um, another liquid that I have been living off of is the G2. So I can have G2 on my program and this is the cherry flavor. It's called Glacier Cherry. I also like the Cool Blue. Looks like that. And those are good. Um, what I have been living off of though, to be honest, is helping me with my Starbucks addiction is I buy these from Walmart. It's the Tazo Ice Passion Herbal Tea. Um, this is the pitcher kind. I know they sell like the individual packs there too, but I couldn't find them when I was there. So um, I just bought the one for a pitcher and I make a really big pitcher of this. I steep it in hot water and then pop it in the fridge. And then when I'm ready to drink it, I put some ice in there and then I throw a packet of this raspberry lemonade crystal light. And it is so good. It tastes like a refresher from Starbucks and it's only five calories and zero carb, sugar, fat, all of that. So I'm approved for that during my um, clear liquid diet. If you don't want to get the crystal light packets, you can get this. Oops. It is fit and active. It's a raspberry lemonade, like little Mio type style thing. And you just can squirt it into the Tazo Ice Passion Tea with some ice. And it's really good. Like I'm telling you, it's saving my Starbucks addiction. And then we're moving on to the protein. The most important part of this is to get your protein in. So I went ahead and I brought out some protein that I have been liking and my absolute favorite is Premier Protein as I'm sure you all know about it. Uh, the, my favorite flavor is Caramel. It is, I think, so good. I drink that in the morning with a decaf Americano from Starbucks and I asked them to have it iced and that's what I mix with my um, protein shake and it's really good. It tastes like a iced coffee. And then... Um, my next favorite, which I recently found, was the cookies and cream. This one tastes so good. It tastes like the milk that's left over after you have Cocoa Puffs. And I had my fiance try it, and he said the same thing. So if you know what that tastes like, you know it's good. And then my third favorite is vanilla. Um, this one's okay. For me, I feel like it kind of has like a, like a weird aftertaste when you drink it. Like on the back of your tongue, it's just kind of like this taste. It's palatable, especially if you mix it with the coffee. Um, but if you don't, it's okay. It's not like terrible, but it's not like my favorite. But I'll still drink it. And then I have chocolate. I'm not a fan of chocolate. I was in the beginning. Like at first, that that's just was the one I would grab, you know, because that's the first one I tried. And I liked it, but once trying those other three flavors, I was like, eh, I'm not a big fan of that one. <laughs> and then the one I, I will tell you don't buy, to be honest, is the peach. Peaches and cream. It's nasty girl like mm -mm, don't listen to the reviews <laughs> for me I thought it was so nasty I only bought the four pack of the peach one and none of them have been drunken drank whatever I've tasted it and I was like oh hell no I don't want that so they're just sitting in my fridge and we're almost done the other things that I actually could chew on you could say has been sugar-free jello 
Um, I'm not a really big fan of Jell-O, so I can honestly say in the nine days I've been on my liquid diet, I've maybe had two of these. Um, I'm just personally not a fan, not for any reason because of the brand, or I'm just not a fan of Jell-O. So I haven't really been into that. Um, but I eat it if like my stomach starts getting like hungry and I'm like, okay, I just want to chew something, I'll grab that. Um, and lastly, on my program, I can have protein bars. So I can have one protein bar a day. And this is one of the brands my surgeon recommended me and they are so good. Like if you can get this approved by your surgeon, do it. They're good, like I'm telling you. So it's the pure protein bar, looks like this. And they have 20 grams of protein, two grams of sugar, and 190 calories. This is a lemon cake flavor, and it tastes really good. This one, though, is my favorite. It is a chocolate peanut caramel, caramel, and it has the same macronutrients as the lemon, but this one tastes like a combination of a recess cup and a Snickers put together. And I get these and I pop them in the fridge, so then when I eat them, it tastes like a cold Snickers. And it's really good. I've been living off that. And last but not least, I can have sugar-free popsicles. I get the generic sugar-free popsicles from uh, Walmart. There is a brand called Budget Saver, and they have like these kind of like big pop style um, sugar-free popsicles. And I don't have any right now because I ate them all, but they taste just like a big stick and they're so good. So if you can find that at Walmart, I would definitely buy that one. If not, there's a million other brands of sugar-free popsicles that you can have. So yeah, that is what I have been surviving off of for nine days now. <laughs> and I'm close to my 14 day, close to my surgery date. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I will be more than happy to help you as much as I can. And yeah, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, you can. It is at VSG Glamour, same as this page on Instagram. And I would love to follow you guys back. So yeah, see you guys soon.